Hi, I'm Susan Jaster with Lincoln University and I am a farm outreach worker. We're here in Independence, Missouri. Basically our project was about cover crops and soil health and we wanted to use goats because goats have a difficult time gaining weight in uh, stressful times of the year when the weather is bad. So when it's really too hot or when it's too cold. So we had three farmers, uh, ranchers that wanted to um, improve their soil and feed their goats and get them to uh, improve with their weight gain. So we took soil samples and we planted cover crops, uh, four different plantings throughout two years. Uh, we tried to do plantings for uh, hot weather and plantings for cold weather so they could graze in the winter time and in the summertime when most goats are laying in the shade just surviving. Uh, we wanted to use cover crops that would improve on their numbers in their soil sample and by using cover crops we found that uh, we could improve active carbon not only from season to season but from year to year and our cover crops were broadcast onto perennial pastures and we had side-by-side -side plots of whatever their perennial pasture was, a 50 by 50 plot, and the plot next to it was uh, had cover crops uh, broadcast onto it. And each time we planted we saw more cover crops, uh, visually could see them, and we because goats like to eat with their head up, we also wanted to have tall cover crops so they would be able to have some browse. And it um, seems like we had really good results uh, improving the soil from season to season, but year to year. And uh, we had an average of a pound and a half gain for the goats, um, average over the three farms. Plus, one thing that we did it expect uh, because we were adding cover crops is that um, we had to measure the plots to make sure there would be enough food in the plot for the three to five days that they the goats would be in there so what we did was um, we took a uh, grazing stick and measured all that and by the end of the whole uh, project we found out that by adding cover crops annuals in on a perennial pasture, it would double our days of grazing as opposed to just perennial pasture. So that was really the, the unexpected find on our project. I'm Jeff Arrington. I'm the farm manager at Drum Center for Children. Um, we're in Independence, Missouri. We have 47 acre farm. We do raise sheep and goats and hogs and uh, children. We uh, have uh, children that are here in our foster care and our homeless and aging out of foster care program. They work on the farm with us. Uh, we used sorghum sedan, we used uh, cow peas, um, driller radishes, we used turnips and beets, and I also added some chicory into mine. Um, it was a very nice mixture. Um, the soil improvement was amazing. I couldn't believe the difference in the soil in just one season. And so I don't know what it'll be like 10 years from now, um, but our soil health has come up. Things that we noticed outside of how it helped the soil and things was, I didn't have to deworm my stock as often. Our parasite counts went down. And I think that that's an added benefit. We've taken one field that we hadn't grown anything on, haven't been able to grow anything on it for four years. We cover cropped it for a season, and this year we've gotten truckloads of butternut squash off of it and acorn squash. It's amazing the difference it made in that soil in just a short period of time.